still have pretty bright skies, but we're starting to get into twilight, so it's about time to get the computer set for the night. My first step is to reboot the computers and rerun all the software, so I start with everything initialized and clean. So that's what we'll be doing right now. Okay, first I'm going to run my pocket power box utility. Alright, that's connected. Now the Falcon rotator software. And that's connected. Next, the I Optron Commander. It's connected. We'll open up the mount. Set the zero position. Just make sure the connection is working. Go to max slew. Yep, that's working. Okay, so all those pieces are going. Next thing I'm going to want is the pole master, because when it gets dark, we have to do polar alignment. Connect. And we're connected, but obviously it's way too bright at this point. So now we'll do it to the other. Now I just have to wait for the sky to be dark enough that I can do the polar alignment using the polar alignment camera. Alright, now I'm inside and I'm looking at one of the screens on my desktop computer. And this window here is the AP130 platform. This one is the Williams Optic 132 platform. And this is the FRA 400. You can see the North Star is starting to show in the Pole Master scopes, and we're starting to get a few more stars. That means very soon we can start to do the polar alignment there. But if we look over in iPolar, it's still too bright out, and we're not getting sufficient uh, plate solving in there to get started. So we've got a few more minutes, and then we can go outside and we can do the polar alignment. All right, right now I'm trying to do polar alignment on my AM5. I have two sets of controls here, one that rotates and one that handles elevation. And I'm using my Pole Master software. And right now, what I'm trying to do is get the uh, Polaris to be inside that little circle there. So I'm gonna adjust. Until I get it. Alright, we're not too bad there. Now I'm ready to go to the next phase. 